Cancel is a Kansas school for effective learning and we specialize in adult basic education and we help people get their GEDs or get through the GED program to their high school diploma. And then we also have ESOL classes for English uh, second language learners. Um, but we, we take them from very basic literacy, ABC 1, 2, 3, all the way up to the college TOEFL exams and business, business language. So we help them there. We also have a Spanish GED program and we are one of the few schools in Kansas that offers this program. It's taught in Spanish and they take the GED in Spanish. And in the future we hope to open a literacy class because we're finding that um, many of our students that come to us have anywhere from a kindergarten to a fifth grade re reading level or math level, yes. And these are people who've gone through the public school system that just fell between the cracks in some ways. We have a student and she was 17 and the very first day she came to talk with me in orientation, um, she told me that her family had thrown her out uh, because they deemed her as a problem child and that her parents had no faith in her whatsoever, told her she wouldn't amount to anything in life. And um, it's very interesting because she was with her cousin who was 10 years old at the time and her cousin had a penchant for taking things that didn't belong to her. And they were shopping and she was with her and the cousin had shoplifted. And so this student said, put it in my purse. And she was totally innocent and took this upon herself. And within three months, she was on the track to get her GED. She'd passed three of the four tests. And two months after that, she had actually passed all of the tests and she came from a middle school level of understanding in her academics and was able to pass a very rigorous test within five months and she is now successfully in college a year later. I mean that is a tremendous success story. It's when I get a student that comes in here and he, and, and he or she says, you know, I don't think I can do this and then five months later we see them graduate and walk across the stage, that is exciting. And or, or they come in midstream and say, Miss Ruth, I got a job, you know, and just giving people hope, I think is probably a big thing for me. We treat our students as family and we treat each other as family. And when you come to our offices, you feel welcome and the students feel like they're not gonna be told no. We do a lot of vision casting with our students to help them see the yeses in life because many of our students are disadvantaged and have come from, from troubled backgrounds. And so that's all they've been told is, is you're a loser, you're not going to get anywhere, you can't possibly do this. And we try and help them see past that point. Chamber membership has been very good as far as networking and also um, um, just the support that the Chamber has given us has been very positive. We have a wonderful relationship, working relationship with the chamber.